Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In case this is your first time in my channel, my name is Chidi and I'm a software engineer based in Lagos, Nigeria. Today, we're going to talk about a very important topic that people rarely talk about in our profession of software engineer. Number five on our list is remote living, the benefit of remote living. What do we mean by remote living? Simply means It simply means you can live in any part of the world and work from there. Your company could be in America, it could be in, in Asia, it could be in, 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 in Europe and you'll be here in Lagos, Nigeria or you'll be in India or you'll be in America working for a company in Nigeria. So it gives you the flexibility of not confining yourself to a particular uh, uh, environment. You, could, you can decide to you know, explore, stay wherever you are so long as you are doing your work, you're doing your job, so long as you have the internet connection and the aggregate and everything is fine. So another benefit of remote living here is, uh, for those of us living in Lagos, we can relate with the time it takes to commute to, to work and back from work. For example, if while going to work, I spend two hours and coming back from work, same thing, two hours, about four hours a day. In 30 days, it would have translated almost 7 days spent on the road. Since this COVID-19 came up, we've been working remotely and that time, I'm, I, and I'm able to cut off that time commuting to work and back. Before COVID started, my normal routine is I wake up by 4 a.m., I freshen up and by 6 o'clock I'm on my way to work. It's just to get there before 8 o'clock. Now, I end up spending about two hours plus commuting to work same thing while coming back i spend this uh, this long hours on the road but since covid came out we started the remote working culture i wake up by 4 a.m it takes me barely 30 minutes to freshen up and i go go move straight into my work um, my work room my and and i start working i could start working at five o'clock before eight o'clock i've achieved so much and I find out that, and I found out that I became very more productive. I, I, I'm able to, you know, close a lot more user stories, easily, you know, go through documentations, get a lot more done, and even as well have more time for meetings with stakeholders, with BAs, with project managers in the company without having any stress. Another point I would really like to express here is, as as at when. You're coming back before COVID came, started. Most times we don't go home with our computers. You, you could you leave it in the office and you come home without it. So when you come home without it, you end up not working for the rest of the night. But since COVID came and I'm working from home, I could I could I could on a very good day I might not feel like going to bed so early. I could work all around the clock and have a lot more time to get more things done. So that is one benefit of remote working and remote living that people rarely talk about. Then, number four on our list here is side hustle. By side hustle, we mean I could have a series of projects, software projects that I'm working on, given to me by maybe one, more than one person to work for them on. And I just simply make out time to work on those projects and I get paid for it. A lot of software developers have blogs that they write articles on. Like personally, like this YouTube channel, I have a YouTube channel, which is as well a good side hustle. So with side hustle, you get to earn a little more. And by the time you get to earn a little more, you feel more confident and you, you feel very much more you know, fulfilled along the way. So side hustle is a very, very important Part of the benefits that people really talk about still on that side hustle you could have people come to you with different applications different maybe bug fixes or you wanted to write a microservice or an api or something that has to do with what you are doing with software development and you, you just go ahead and maybe knock it off in three four five hours and you get that money down in your account so that's um, one of the key benefits of software because being a software engineer that people really number three on our list is 
the fact that programming teaches you how to think. Now, if you are someone who really um, putting your brain to good use, you might not really succeed that much in as a software engineer. So, programming teaching someone how to think simply means that as you develop yourself as a software engineer, you get to a level where you will have to think on your feet. Imagine going for a Google uh, interview and you're being asked questions on algorithms and data structure and you're not just being asked those questions for you to just pull out the solutions on the whiteboard and impress the employer. But you will be required to walk the, empl the employer through the series of steps that you, you, you had to take for you to achieve that uh, uh, solution. So, it's making you think on your feet and you as well understanding the question and thinking about the solution so that is one very good importance of software development and software engineering so if you don't know how to think it will teach you how to think it will teach you to understand different algorithms and algorithms and data structures their trade-offs how fast they can be the reason why you should use one over the other and a lot 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 more we're going to talk about this more on this channel don't forget to subscribe, like this video, comment on this video. If you have any questions, if you have any suggestions to make, use the um, comment section, please. Uh, we will always go through the comment sections and take your feedbacks into consideration. Number two on the list, with software engineering as a profession, you can build your own businesses. Of course, when you, when you own uh, a, a site where people can download ebooks and pay a token for it you've made a business of your own when you have an application where people maybe you come up with a ride sharing application and people download it and you know um, book for the next ride for their next ride and pay a token for it you've made your own business with the, with software engineering as a career people will constantly come to you I've had so many so many people come to me hi Chidi I have this business idea but the money to um, to accomplish it is not there I don't have enough money to pay you for it can we partner can we you know can you give me more insights can you help me understand how this is could work out and stuff like that before you know it you will be a CTO in more than one company you'll be you'll be a co-founder in more than one company and it, it helps you build your own business and but it is a, one of the, the parts or the benefits of software engineering that people really talk about. Number one on the list, which is the big one, the big one on the list is money. Money and more money. Of course, they say if you find a way to solve a problem, people will not mind to pay you for it. So when you are positioned properly as a software engineer and people with that wants to come up with good business ideas, and know, when they know, as soon as they know that ah, you are one of their keys to success, of course, they'll pay you well. They'll ask you, please come on board. Even if it means to just help us review our developers' codes, even if it means to just help us, um, let let. Even if they call me or they call you as someone who would be there to just checkmate and be sure that all your all their developers are doing the right thing, you'll be paid handsomely for it. So, money is always and always at the top. But one thing that people fail to understand, one thing that people get wrong sometimes is placing money as a priority first. I'll give you one short story before we end this. I took a, an internship job for less than $50. Oh, almost $50, for less than $20. Why? Because <laughs> I know the benefit of what I was going into. But as at that time, I told my now, my fiance then, now she's my wife, my beautiful wife, I told her, baby, if, if, uh, even if they don't pay me, I'm going to take this job. I left the job I was doing and went for that internship. And I was so happy, I'm so blessed with her that she understood my goals, she understood my vision. She did not look at me as, ah, how will I be dating someone that is earning less than, less than I am earning, even if it is just for one year. So I took that internship for six months. I'm glad they paid the little they paid, of which, even if they did not pay, I would have still gone for it. So immediately I got the offer later, I was so happy, I was so glad. And that was the defining moment. That was how I 
broke through into the software engineering world and that is why uh, so if you make money your priority at first you might not get far very fast but if you keep money aside after a short while <laughs> the money will come chasing after you so thank you for being for staying tuned to the end of this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe because it's going to be more entertaining more educating more insightful and we promise to always wow you thank you very much and have a blessed day